Are you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com to stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you from the annual Grape Nut and Tree Fruit Expo held at the Big Fresno Fairgrounds. With the resurgence of populations of glass evening sharpshooter and Pierce's disease within vineyards in the Central Valley as well as other regions in California, this was a key topic of discussion at the expo today. And here's Allison Ferry AB who addressed these issues. Pierce's disease has been a problem for a long time and in the last couple of years there was a big resurgence of the populations of glassy wing sharpshooter which are the main vectors uh, for Pierce's disease here in California. And we saw a huge population spike in Kern County. There are a couple of reasons for that. We've had a couple of warm winters these last couple of years and so the populations had a chance to, uh, to really increase over time. Um, and additionally, we are seeing some low level of resistance to our main product for control for glassy wing sharpshooter, which is imidacloprid. But the main thing is probably warm winter temperatures. So because of this, you really need to keep a lookout in your vineyard for both populations of glassy wing sharpshooter and for Pierce's disease. And so put out sticky traps in your vineyard and check those uh, at least once a month to make sure and see uh, your glassy wing sharpshooter populations. And also be on the lookout for Pierce's disease. Pierce's disease, the main symptom that you're gonna wanna look for are naked petioles or matchsticks where the blade of a leaf on a cane drops off but the petiole still remains and that's the main indicative symptom of Pierce's disease. You can also see symptoms of cocentric rings, of um, chlorosis and necrosis and also uh, green islands where there remains green tissue uh, surrounded by dead tissue on the canes. But the main one are the matchstick symptoms that you need to keep a lookout for and you're going to want to look for those symptoms in October, early November um, and that's the time of year you'll start seeing things. If you have questions feel free to contact me. My number is area code 559-684-3316. Uh, you can also email me at aeferry at ucanr.edu if you have any questions. Thank you, Allison. Learn more about what's going on in your industry by reading American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.